So I'm back. A series of unfortunate events unfolded and unfortunately I was unable to film this weekend. Though, I have some good news. Today's video will be a what's in my bag. I just received this bag from my friends at Priceline uh, who were kind enough to uh, gift me this bag so that I can uh, review the items and um, get my beauty vlogging career started. So thanks again to my Priceline uh, friends. Uh, this was very generous of them. And let's get into it. And there's a beautiful bag that I just adore. I mean, look at this little bow. It's so adorable. Anyway, what I've got in here, I'll just randomly pick. We've got an Eco Tools uh, eco friendly bath sponge. Uh, this is recycled netting. Next, we have uh, the Rock Beauty Nails book. Now, this, uh, these are nail wraps. So instead of um, actual nail polish, these are sort of stickers that you can pop over your nail. Um, and I, I presume they last longer. It says here that they last longer. Um, and in this box, I have the Tribal Gold, the White Dots on Red, and the Jade Quail. So we'll just check them out. So I think that's the tri that's the Tribal Gold. You can see that. And the white dots on nail wraps and the jade quail. So I'm pretty excited to try the tribal gold one. Next we have uh, the Glam Eyes Manicare Bambi Lashes. Uh, now I have tried the Glam Eyes lashes before. I, they weren't very successful on my eyes, uh, but I think I did choose really dramatic ones. But these look really lightweight and Sort of natural looking if you can see that and um, there's so i'm pretty excited to use the bambi lashes oh i also got the mickey lashes so uh, those are very dramatic next i have the physicians formula organic wear fake out mascara uh, i've always wanted to try physicians formula but um it is quite expensive for a drugstore product um but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like over 20 bucks. I'm pretty excited to try this one out. Um, it is 70% organic, so that's that's a plus. Uh, and the fibers on the mascara are natural fiber blends of pine tree, silk cotton powder, and nylon. So I like that rather than um synthetic mascaras. Next, we have the Glam Manicare. Express 3-in-1 Nail Art Pen, um, like this, it's 3-in-1, um, it's got the jewels at the end, uh, just the nail polish in the middle, and then I presume the pen is here, so that's for um, designing. It also comes with um, some stencils, so there's some stencils that you can stick on your um, nails and then paint over it. It also came with the cuticle stick, so that's very handy. Next, I have the Inoxa Satin Sheen SPF 30 uh, Natural Finish Makeup. Uh, so I'm pretty excited because Inoxa is an expensive brand. Uh, this is in the shade Buttermilk, so I'm not sure. I'll swatch it for you guys. But I'm not actually sure if this is my shade. Okay, so that's definitely not my colour, if you guys can see that. Uh, that is very light, so porcelain looking. So I'll probably pass this product on, that I will ask them for a review. And if it is worth it, I'll pick my shade up myself. So that's the Inoxa. I will in include all the um, items in the description box down below if you guys are interested in them. That is just not my colour. Mm. Okay, next we have uh, Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balm. So this is in the shade Coquette in 110. Now, I'll swatch this for you. I'm pretty excited about this. I haven't, I don't own any of the Revlon um, lip range. So, oh, that's it's kind of glossy. And it's like a pretty pink summery 
sort of shade with a cool undertone so I mean that would definitely work in the summertime that's nice you guys can see that next I have the Scandalize Rocking Curves by Rimmel this is their red mascara uh, in 001 black just check out the wand ooh that's, that's big it's got a curve to it so I mean I'm I don't have a mirror here, but try it. Ooh. I like the fibers here. Yeah. That would definitely work. Some mascaras I find have really um, tough bristles on the mascara one, and um, that hurts. <laughs> Next, I have the Models Prefer Moisture Lust Glossy Lip Tint in the shade Pink Frosting 114. So I'll swatch this one for you guys as well, if I can get it open. Alright, it kind of looks similar to the uh, Coquette by Revlon, Revlon. So, but we'll... yeah it looks, it looks a tiny bit darker, I'm not sure if you guys can see that but it's, it's this one right here, so it's a, a tiny bit darker but definitely will work for summer as well, maybe spring even. So next I have a L'Oreal Paris Base Magic Transforming Smoothing Primer. Uh, this is just a sample size product. Like everything else I've pulled out is full size, which I'm pretty impressed with. Uh, this one evens the skin surface and smooths the pores, so I'm really excited to try this one. Uh, and I will get back to you guys on, with a review on the L'Oreal Paris huh. Next I have L'Oreal Paris uh, Color Rich Nail Polish in the shade Black Diamond and this is 840. Uh, it's, it's a sort of shimmery, it's, I think it's like flecks of silver in there. I'm, I'm swatching it. you guys think? Yay or nay? A Sally Hansen Triple Shine Nail Polish in the shade Red Snapper 230. Now this is a bright red. It's sort of a cherryish red. It's not a dark red. So. Wow, the brush is pretty wide. That's cool. You've seen that before? Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I would like that shade on my toes. Let's get another nail polish from Natio Nail Color in the shade Stardust. Uh, so that's it right there. And just looking at it right now, I think I really like this color. It's sort of, it's got like a platinum, goldish, silvery tone to it. So just watch that. Oh, I might need I might need a couple coats because it has come up a little uh, transparent, translucent. But I like that color very much, so I'm definitely keen to try that one out. Next, I have the Mood by Nature Mineral Lip Gloss in the shade Flirty. This is I don't own any Mood by Nature um, cosmetics, so I'm really excited to try them out for the first time. Um, I have heard really good things. It's just, it's just a um, sort of gloss, so you could wear this alone, sort of for a natural-looking makeup look, uh, or you can wear it on top of a lipstick to give it some shine. But it doesn't have much colour to it, which is good if you're using it on top of a lipstick. Oh, another nail polish. I have an Essie Nail Lacquer in the shade, where is the shade? Fifth Avenue, 64. So this is, this kind of looks, where is it? They kind of look similar, so I'll swatch it for you and check it out. This one looks a little bit more orange than the uh, Sally Hansen 
<laughs> this one is a lot more brighter. The SE Nail Lacquer is a lot brighter. If you guys want to check that out, it's that one right there. I have the Savvy Clear Brow Gel. I've always been putting this in my shopping basket but never actually purchasing it, so I'm glad I got one for free. Um, uh, I will be doing a. Oh, I'm not keen on the bristles because they're synthetic, and synthetic hurt my eyelashes and brows. But we'll see how we go. Uh, and I will be doing a savvy a savvy haul very soon. Uh, because the savvy oh, I'm getting nail polish everywhere, look. Oh. Last but not least, I have a, another product uh, sample size. It is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation uh, in golden beige, so I'm pretty sure that is close to my skin tone. So I will definitely try that out. So that is all of it today. Uh, I only got two sample size products in this bag, so I'm pretty impressed with all the things that I got. I will definitely be uh, wearing some of these products in my next videos. Next. Make sure you guys check out my last video uh, on how to tame your mane. And stay tuned for more videos. And don't forget, I am gorgeous, and so are you. Me, myself, and I, that's all I got till the end of time. I'll be 